Hi, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement banner ads in Android app. So let's get this started. First, we create our project, select empty activity, click on next, name of your application. And I'm selecting language Java and click on finish. After creating project, open your browser and search for AdMob. Click on sign in AdMob. So here you have to log in with your Gmail ID. Now click on get started. Now we have to set up an app. Choose platform as Android. Here I select no. If your app is listed in some app store, click on yes. The app is listed on a supported app store. Now click on continue button. Here provide the application name. And click on add app. So here you can see you have successfully added banner ads. Now click on done. So here click on add unit and then select banner. Provide add unit name. And then click on create add unit. So this is our app ID and this one is add unit ID. Copy these IDs and then click on done. Now after this. Go back to your Android Studio. So here first we click build.gradle app level and here we add the required dependencies. I'll provide this dependency in description box. Here click on sync now. Now open manifest file and here we add internet permission. So now we will add our admo app ID to the manifest file. Here we use metadata tag to add the app ID inside the application. And here we paste our app ID that we created in AdMob account. If you want to show video ads inside the banner ad view, you must turn on the hardware acceleration. Hardware acceleration is enabled by default or we can also enable and disable it for the entire or for each activity separately. So here to turn on the hardware acceleration, we set hardware acceleration equals to true. Now open RDS layout activity main.xml file. And here we will add add view in our layout to show the banner ads in our app. Here we paste our add unit ID that we have created in AdMo. Here you can see we added a banner ad. Now open main activity .java and here we initialize mobile SDK. When initialization is completed, I'll show a toast message. So when the initialization is complete, it will display a toast message. This initialization is completed. So here we create add view object.
way we get the add view id from xml file by using find view by id Here, this load add method load and add and this add request method holds runtime information about a single add request so now run the project here you can see the banner add thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section thank you